Jake I'm Otto, as Derek was saying at the very beginning of the show today, we're talking about some color trends if you're thinking of redecorating and maybe renovating. Uh, sometimes all it takes is a little bit of paint. So here to show us some color trends for 2013 and give us some design tips are Alicia Cunningham. She is a franchise partner for Wow One Day Painting. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I mean, also, us here today. Oh, well, thank you so much for coming in. And uh, Lucy Malash is a color specialist with Wow One Day Painting. Um, Ottawa. And so uh, thank you both ladies so much for joining us. Um, Lucy, let's start. Actually, Misha, let's start with you. Uh, a lot of people out there may not know what Wow One Day Painting is. What does your company do? Well, Wow One well, Day Painting, our concept is pretty simple. We provide uh, one day painting for home and businesses, which we give this full factor, one day completion, high quality work. And we provide professional uniform painter as well as finishing with spotless cleaner. So okay. are you saying uh, like you'll do a whole yeah. house in one day? Right, just 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 a picture, just a simple one. Let's say you paint a condo. Right. One painter go in, we will take him five days. Yeah. Right. We are the opposite. We will take five painters to complete our painting a condo in one day. I love the idea. Yeah. That's yeah. very nice. And a lot of people just love it. Sometimes we show up at at at, a, at our home. Uh, the customer give us a key at seven thirty. By the time they got back at six o'clock, everything spotless, a uh, spotless cleanup, and they say, wow. Nice. That's exactly <laughs> That's what I Yeah. So let's talk about color then, Lisa, because uh, a lot of people out there are probably like, okay, I want to do this to my house. I'm up for a change, but what are the, what are the colors that people should be looking at this year? Well, this year there's a lot of uh, trends happening, and we're actually back to the gray. So right. Like, as we all know, there's many shades of gray, and the fun <laughs> thing about gray is that it can be combined with a lot of eclectic colors, a lot of, uh, a lot of powerful colors like reds and yellows and blues and and whether you're redecorating your home or home, you want to resell your home, this is where a lot of people are going into. So it's a nice base as a neutral. Yes, as a neutral and also to create a lot of a nice energy and also right. to create um, maybe a, a sophisticated look but also a very modern look. Right. Lucy, how do you create sort of a color scheme in a, in a room? What, what's your starting point? So what we do, because um, I'm also the founder of uh, Total Refresh, we go from now to wow. I was right. very, very I like close it. I work closely with uh, Wow One Day Painting, so we'll go into a home and we'll actually, I, I always like to hear what they're trying to create, what their end goal is, is it, the, is it the, to reignite a room or is it a for sale, so that's where you all start to, before you even go into colors. Okay. Okay, um, so then say that you do want uh, to basically just refresh a room and you yep. want it to be a a calmer atmosphere, and I'm, I'm looking to create a color scheme. What would you do with me then? What, what, so where would we start? Basically, what we will start is uh, look at the square footage of your room. We'll look at the lighting because you right. better go with your uh, focal point, and then we're going to determine what kind of uh, energy you're trying to recreate, or um, what is your color palette that you mm -hmm. like, and then we'll we'll see if we can we can combine either the color that you're looking for or maybe even go out of the box and really create something a little bit different. Right. And then we'll usually set it all up. In, um, in a nice palette to actually show what it, some options would be in your room. Okay, so what have you done with gray this time? Can you explain? Well, uh, there is a, there's something you can see here. What we've done with gray is we've actually combined it with a nice taupe color. Uh, burnt orange is really, really nice. We also work with fabrics. We have a lot of fabrics. Um, we'll paint a, a room, for example, a nice light gray. If it's a teenager's room, we'll do a comb of a really bright pink. Right. Just to bring it out and then accent it with maybe a darker gray in lines. So oh, you're okay. actually creating a nice... Uh, and also another thing we've done is we've taken fabric and put it on a wall. If you've oh, got really? like a okay. nine inch okay. ceiling or six, uh, uh, six foot ceilings, you actually put nice fabric instead of a, a painting. So it's something a little bit different. And I think in one of the pictures you can actually see where we've actually took some fabric, we've put it around the bed and also taken the same fabric and put it along the wall. Okay, so yeah, then uh, a really awesome. layering and, and yeah. creating a contrast. Playing with something different, something for sure. And well, yeah. velour is also very in. I know we can say velvet, but the velour with the <laughs> nice linen look and the buttons actually create a sense of tranquility, but yet defined. You know right. why I'm glad you said that? Because years ago, people used to run around in those velour jumpsuits. Yeah. Like J-Lo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know what? Not everyone's doing that anymore. What do you do with that expensive? Because some of them were expensive. You could just turn it into a pimple. Yeah. I'm sure that's what you know, did. Yeah. And yeah. Also, <laughs> you have so many velour jumps here. Um, so how many colors is too many then when it comes to creating yeah. a color um, scheme? It has to complement what we're trying to define. Um, there is um, accessories is a big 
something. Right. So you can get away with colors not only in painting, but also with accessories. By accessorizing your room, you eliminate the, the busyness of adding two, three different colors to your room. Are we still so seeing that, that? Sorry, are we still seeing that accent wall as well? As, Absolutely. So that's still quite Absolutely. popular. Absolutely. So if you were doing, a, let's say, the the entire room gray except for one accent wall. What are some colors that would look great, say, in the living room on an accent wall? I, I would do something, depending on, again, the lighting and what you're trying to create right. and the furniture. I would definitely go with uh, a nice uh, burnt red. Right. Red has a statement. It also tells a story. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely yeah. creates a vibrant Absolutely. visual energy as yeah. well. Um, so, Alicia, what's the best way to, for people to get in touch with you, then, if they're uh, interested in working with you? They can call our call center. Uh, it's open almost 24 hours. Okay. Uh, if not, they can automatically log online. Uh, you go into Google, search for our one day. They can book out the appointment online. Perfect. And then we instantly got a, got a message to say, Lisha, you have an appointment for a quotation next Monday at 8 a.m. And that's all it takes. Well, yes. thank you so much, it. ladies, for joining us. Thank you for the it. tips. So much. And uh, if you do have the, the, the lure, <laughs> <laughs> now you, you lure know what to do with it. You know what? I never jumped on that. You never did. You know, you didn't get on that fashion. I love sweatpants. <laughs> 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 all right. Thank you, ladies, so much. Thank you so much. Coming up next. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. We'll open those gifts in a moment. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you for having us. True pleasure. Thank you for having us. Well, coming up next, we are going to talk to Richard Negro. He is opening Richard Hintenberg Kitchen very, very soon. And uh, you can have a chance to go and taste uh, the different delectable delights he has in store. And we're going to get a sneak peek right after the break.